Hello, hello, hello. I am the Linux Mensch. The other day when I did my install video, I installed three desktop environments, two window managers, and all my favorite apps. And I said I was going to take a look at the brand new KDE Plasma 6. So, let's get to it. So, I'm in the same virtual machine where I did my install the other day, where I installed three desktop environments, two window managers, and my favorite apps. And I'm at the login screen. And I'm going to click on the menu. And I'm going to click on Plasma. Now, this is the login screen that comes with Plasma. It's called SDDM. And I'm going to put my password in. And now we're logging in to the brand new KDE Plasma, number six. Now, in my install video, the only thing I did to change or configure anything in this KDE Plasma was I fixed the display resolution because it's a virtual machine. That's all I've done. And I noted when I did my install video the other day, if you watched it, when I logged into KDE Plasma 6, this beautiful wallpaper, I think it's fantastic. I really like this. So I think the first thing I'm gonna do is let's take a look at some of the other wallpapers. So we're just gonna go here and we're gonna right click, configure desktop wallpaper. Let's click it on. Let's make this full screen. So Plasma comes with a lot of wallpapers. And if you watched my video the other day, where I showed how I like to change and configure the Cinnamon desktop in Arch Linux, and the default wallpapers that come with Cinnamon in Arch Linux are really ugly. These are beautiful. So I'm gonna try some, I like this one. It's got some orange in it. Let's try it. Hmm, nice. Let's try a few others and then I'm gonna move on. That's different. Mm, nah, I don't really care about that one. <laughs> I do like this one. And I think this is an older wallpaper that came with some older versions of KDE Plasma. Let's try this one. And I'm not going to go, oh, I'm not sure about that. <laughs> I really like the one that came in on default and I don't know what happened to it now. I don't see it. Yeah, that's it. Okay. And just so you know, I've never lived in KDE Plasma and I've hardly ever used it. And I'm not really that familiar with it, even though I did do a video on it a few months ago. And let, let's open up the file manager. That's Nemo, but it comes with its own file manager too. Um, let's see if there's an easy way to get into settings. Oh, this is it here, system settings. It's already pinned down there. So let's go into system settings. Let's make that. Let's change it to breeze dark. Oh, I see you have to apply it because I changed it to breeze dark. And, oh, okay, that's really dark. <laughs> wow. Oh, wow. That is cool. I like that. So let's go back to settings. And you know what? Just so it's easier to see, I think I'm going to go back to breeze. Let's apply it. I just wanted, want, you, I want the video to show exactly what's going on here. Yeah, let's just leave that for now. And there's wallpaper. Okay, let's go back to settings. So what do we have here? We have the global theme, plasma style. What's that? Hmm. Okay. We have keyboard settings, shortcuts, Bluetooth settings, Wi-Fi, colors, and themes. Uh, I think we were already in there, right? Text and fonts. So you can change your fonts. And we were already in wallpaper. Let's see what activities is. And of course, I'm not really giving, this is not really a teaching video because I'm not that familiar with uh, KDE Plasma. And there's nothing in activities. We have screen locking. What's that? Wow. It's going to automatically lock after five minutes. Allow unlocking without password for five seconds. So let's see. Um, can we change this to never? I guess not, eh? We can just turn it off, I guess. Now it's turned off. Can we put this to zero? Okay. Hmm. We have recent files. We have spell check or date and time. Energy saving. After a period of inactivity, do nothing. Or if you want it to turn off, I guess you can. You can put it to sleep or tell it to shut down automatically and change your time here. Display and brightness. Turn off screen after 10 minutes. No, I don't want to do that. Really, I thought there would be a lot more settings in here. 
I'm kind of surprised. I thought there was a lot more settings and th uh, there's a lot of the Linux users on YouTube rave about KDE Plasma. And this is the brand new KDE Plasma 6. And I don't know what's the difference between this and Plasma 5. Because even though I did a video on Plasma 5, I'm not that familiar with it. So what's in session? Okay, I'm not really sure what this is. Oh, it tells you what's running. Hmm. Okay. Got users. What's in general behavior? Just some mouse stuff. Okay. Window management. Window rules. Virtual desktops. I don't know what that is. Mouse settings. Oh, you have auto start. Nothing is in there. I guess you could add something. Add an application. Uh, I'm going to close that. And now my cat is uh, wanting to come in. So I'm going to let her in. Sit down. Good girl. And of course, here's your, uh, you have your, uh, launch, your, you have your start menu here. You have all your programs in here. Here's your internet programs. Multimedia programs. We have OBS Studio because these are the applications that I put in here with my install script. Media, we have our the office. And of course, we can put go to sleep. We can restart. We can shut down. We can lock it. Let's see if the lock screen works. Well, there it is. Okay, let's put the password in. And we have all our different sections here. We have a search menu. So we can do a HTOP. Go into HTOP. And whoo. Running high. 1.1, 1.14 gigabytes of RAM. Oof, it's kind of high. And that's it. So I know that was really a quick, quick look at KDE Plasma 6. And I did it so quickly because uh, I really don't know how to use KDE Plasma. I never lived in it, I've hardly ever used it even though I did another video on it a while back. And to tell you the truth, I'm really disappointed. And maybe I'm going to get some hate messages on this. <laughs> I don't know. But I'm extremely disappointed. I don't know what the big hullabaloo is about KDE Plasma. Like there's Linux YouTubers who love KDE Plasma. They couldn't wait for Plasma 6 to come out, which just came out uh, last week. And I don't know what the big deal is. Yes, they have nice wallpaper. That's about the only thing I can say about KDE Plasma that has nice wallpaper and it uses a lot of RAM. And right now it uses more RAM than GNOME. I think it's the heaviest RAM user of all the desktop environments, but it has nice wallpaper. So I'm greatly disappointed. And I know I didn't really give it a fair shake because I've never lived in it. And I hardly know how to use it. And so, so I'm kind of being unfair. Anyways, let me know what you think in the comments. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please like it. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Thank you for watching. Until next time, I am the Lennox Mensch.